Happy Wednesday everybody, it's me Tracy and you are here to see my craft for the day. Thank you so much for visiting the Crafty Scout vlog. Um, today you, um, I wanted to talk to you about ATC cards. Um, today while my daughter was at gymnastics, I was reading the Family Fun magazine and this is the September, uh, the September 2011 issue. And inside, it actually explains ATCs. I've never really understood what ATCs are, were until I actually read this article, and it's really super cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link you up to the actual um, article um, on uh, familyfun.com. So then that way, if you have any more information uh, and you need any more information about it, then you can just click on the link and then you can read more about it. But basically what it is, is... Uh, it's uh, where you have a, every card must be two and a half by three and a half inches in size, and they could be traded but never sold. Otherwise, the rules, your card is waiting for whatever you can dream up. So there's just those two rules. So um, here are some examples. So like this one right here, so you basically just draw like a little squiggle or whatever and then you can draw like little pe like separate patterns um, and there's a name for e like a, a name for each type of these um, drawings that you can do on these cards um, you have stamps um, you have this one where you do doodles and then in between the doodles you color them a solid color different colors you have the spin art a uh, ATC um, you have fingerprints ATC, you have some where it's called the stained glass tissue, so you just get tissue paper, um, and then you have one where you put a circle inside of a circle. Um, just some really cool designs. Look at this one here. This one you can use um, crayons and watercolor. This one here is more of a collage. So as I was reading this, it was kind of really cool because I can actually use these um, like on uh, my art journal pages. I think that was it. Yeah, so um, I thought that would be a really cool thing for my daughter to do, um, to make some ATCs, and then she can take some extra cards with her on share day on Friday, and then the kids can bring um, some cards back next week, and then they can trade. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this watercolor paper um, that I got on sale. It was actually a buy one, get one free so I got this pad for free because I've already used the other one for my art journal page um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and tear one of these pages out and then I'm going to cut it down um, the card excuse me I'm sorry for that that noise um, let's see the cards I believe were supposed to be two and a half by three and a half so let me just just verify that since I'm new at this ATC thing here Okay, so cards must be And here I'm taking up your time. Yeah, two and a half by three and a half inches in size. Okay, so the very first thing is again, I'm going to use uh, my paper cutter here. So I'm going to turn that around so it'll make a little bit more sense. Now the paper cutter has also this extension here to help you guide your paper as well. And then yesterday I mentioned in my video that this actually had inches on it. Well it also has centimeters as well just so then you know. I'm sorry I totally forgot about the centimeters and also about the, the extender here. So let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and cut this down cut the little roughly piece off and this is watercolor paper that I'm using okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this at two and a half my paper is a little, little bit long okay so two and a half so here is my two and a half so I'm gonna put it right here and then I'm gonna cut and then I'm gonna make another two and a half there and I'm going to cut these two and a halfs all the way down. And I'm going to keep that right along that line so then my paper stays even all the way down. And then when I'm done with that, then I will cut the opposite way uh, three and a half inches. And then that will give me the size of my ATC. 
Okay, then I have just a little bit more, and I want to measure and make sure that that's two and a half, which is just a little bit over, so I'm going to cut that down as well. Just a little tad, not very much. But for the sake of the dimensions, we will do it at two and a half. Okay, now we're going to cut three and a half. Okay, so now I'm going to put it at three and a half, and then start cutting that way. And then that way she can actually uh, color a few, maybe over the weekend, um, since I'll be gone camping. Um, she can color some, or maybe she might even want to do some tomorrow after school, since so she's almost done with her homework. Um, and then she can take them for Share with a Share on Friday. And then she'll have some extra cards, so then she can hand them out to her friends that want to make ATCs along with her and then maybe hopefully next week they might want to share or they might want to trade the cards. I thought that would be a cute little idea. I don't know if kids trade at school but it's worth a try. I think they would have fun. I think this would be really cool for our Girl Scout troop, but seriously, we just don't have enough time to, uh, I mean, they have the time to make the cards, but we won't have time to do the actual trades. <laughs> so, um, it just won't work for the troop, unfortunately. We're just too busy. We have other things that we have to do. We have a ceremony that we have to prepare for. Okay, so there I go. So these are watercolor ATCs, and they are ready to go and ready to be painted. There you go. So thank you so much for visiting my, my vlog um, and my channel um, here on YouTube and also on Facebook. Um, if you liked the video, then please give me a thumbs up on YouTube and on Facebook. If you'd like to continue following me on my um, on my daily crafts, then please click on subscribe on YouTube and check mark the box that says email notification and then OK. And then that way is whenever I update my, um, my video or upload my videos to YouTube, then you will be notified via email. So thank you so much for uh, viewing my video and until we craft again, thank you so much for visiting. Bye.